what was it? 2.12.1.35. And of course, updating on the hardware is pretty easy sometimes and sometimes it isn't, but most of the time it is pretty good. I want to talk about how you can actually save these updates in case you got a problem, either your hardware or software. So what I do whenever they make an update, I try to save my older updates, the ones I like. I try to put them all in the same folder. So over here, I got a folder called MPC updates and you'll see them right here. So currently I have the latest update. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to show you how we can actually go back in, get rid of it, start some stuff up and to make sure it works. Um, so what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to go to, let's see. I will go to pick an update. Let me pick one older update up. That's 7-11. What's this one? 7-6. Oh, 11-6. Go with this one right here. I'll go 11-6. was already open right here. I'll click the installer. The installer launches. And now I go to here. I want to launch it. Now, i got to make sure that the MPC is not on. It's not on. So then I want to go to here and I want to go reinstall. Yep. And it says reinstall. Yeah, we're going to reinstall that. I says, okay, good, we're going to install it. So I'm going to reinstall this, even though I have uh, 2.12 on here, right? So I'm going to go to here and press, okay, continue. Then I'm going to say, okay, I continue here. Then here I'm going to just agree, the actual thing to agree about the software, words, the words about the problems that you may have. There you go, like this. Okay, I'm going to do that right there. Now I'm going to do this, uh, continue on. And then I'll say, uh yeah install continue okay install oh man so i have to do so many things here i prefer to have this is a macbook pro and it this i don't even want to put the code and i'd rather just like use my id as my you know my, my fingerprint that's better i have no idea why they do it this way but i don't really care so now i'm updating it or i'm actually going backwards with where I was at to where I'm going to be now. Now the reason why I do this is because sometimes I might get an update that might have a problem or I may have done something wrong somewhere. I do not know. So this is important right here. Install app would like to modify apps on your Mac. Now this is unusual. They want to add up, modify apps, I guess, to receive stuff out of it. I'll say okay for now. They want, may want to go through apps or go through something, I guess, to get the VST. I'm thinking, okay, good. I'll close this out that's good so now i want to close this out too here i just installed that software in there i don't need to keep this actually no need to keep i'll throw it out later on and now what i want to do is i want to go into where the mpc software right there so i'm going to click this it may take some time to load i have a lot of apps i just wait a minute do you want the application mpc app to accept incoming network connections. Clicking deny may limit the application's behavior. This setting can be changed in the firewall pane of the network settings. Okay, got it. So let's go here. We'll see where this lands us and then we're gonna go to the next section. So what the problem is that is that there's a, sometimes there's a problem with plugins. And a problem with identifying uh, instruments and stuff like that. That can be a problem sometimes. Whether you're linked or synced back in or not. That can be a big problem. Now, as this thing, I'm sitting here. You're going to see this thing is like trying to load. There it is. Right there. It's, it's bouncing, bouncing. Because I've got a lot of uh, sounds and everything else. Whatever I got. I have too many. But I'll just speed this part of the tape up. And then once it loads up, it'll be good. Let's let it access the microphone. And now we've launched it. And see what this says here? It sees what I have already, right? Um, let's count. I don't need to do that right now. I just want to do this for the lesson here. So you can see right here, it realizes I'm, I'm on 11.6. It wants to install 2.12.1. And we see that here. And we want to install this because it's saying... It sees what I'm on. So what I normally do is I will actually do that. Take an older software, put it on, just to make sure what I'm doing works. And I go back to this. If I don't like that software, then I'll use the one that's uh, the older one I have and then see what happens. Now, this is a good thing to do for one time. You may have a big problem and you want to go back to something else because you were actually working in that last software. And you don't want to have an update screw you up while you're actually 
finishing a project. So I always suggest what you need to do is to save your updates. You never know what's going to happen. I'm going to close this out here. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to go back to here and just like quit it. I'm not going to update from here. Now this next thing is going to be about updating directly from the center, which I'll normally do. I'll come here to the center and I'll update this one now from the center. And since I just added in the MPC 11.6, it should see that it's an older version I went over again, and it's going to bring in the new version in again from this point on. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you something about plugins and the problems that might happen with plugins. As you can see, it says MPC2, and it says install. I'm going to install this right now. So it's going to install. Please install. Oh, did it download? It's downloading? Maybe downloading first. Oh, here we go. It's going to install. So continue, uh, continue, and I agree. And then, of course, I want the expansion. I'm going to build some sample kits. I'm going to come here and go to like, okay, we want to press continue. And now I say install. It wants, I try to put my finger here. I prefer the biometric password thing. It's just a better way to go. It's faster, I mean, really. But I did punch the numbers in or the letters. Okay, it would like to, what? Okay, access files in my download folder. No problem, here you go. And now it's gonna access those files. Remaining time, about four minutes, it says. That's a long time to have it happen. I don't know what to do here. But we're gonna wait to see if it's gonna take four. Oh, look, about a minute now. It's always pretty fast here on my machine. Would you like to modify apps on your Mac? Okay. Let's do that. So it's going to modify some more apps here on the Mac. Okay, that's the favorite sound of it being done. Let's close this out. And, uh, yeah, um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, move it to the trash. There you go. It's in the trash right now. Perfect. So now I want to go back to here, and I'm going to sort of hide this out the way. And I'm going to go back in now. I'm going to launch the MPC software. Right there. We'll launch that. I'm going to take this and close this back out now. Of course, that's my update folder pack. I always keep that going. Do you want the application MPC app to accept incoming network connections? Well, yeah, why not allow that? Remember before it said like, if it didn't do it, it would be working like real hard with less stuff. So we want to do that for sure. Now, hopefully, it'll move faster, but it won't. I've got bouncy, bouncy going on down here. And now I'll talk about the problem. Oh, there is it's bouncing right there. Good. So the problem is trying to load up apps. Now, I um, plug in some more or less, and then VST plugins, right? And so I wanted to load them in. I couldn't load them in for like a while there. And I realized, too, that I've got a problem that deals with other applications. All these applications must talk to each other in turn, if they're open, right? And then they're going to use the same VSTs if I'm doing that. I might be doing one thing in one, in one app. I want to use the drums or something in the MPC. I'm going to transfer that file over to the, uh, the machine, maybe. Add some stuff in the machine I want to do. And that may take that file. And I want to bring up, actually, that sound inside of Logic Pro or Pro Tools or whatever. And all these plugins, all these... Does they all have VSTs, right? And there's a lot of VSTs. I got a lot of stuff here too. I actually have a host to say, okay, let me use my microphone. Access to the microphone's great. You can do that. I've got a lot of softwares here. There's tons of them here, as you can see. You know, MPC Beats, MPC. I got the SP404 stuff. I got Pro Tools. I got Live. I got Reason. I got all this stuff in here. It's just tons of stuff here, which is cool to have. And so, release notes. I don't want you to know stuff. Let's go. Let's um, close it out. Now, it says here, load project. Nope, no need. I want to go with an empty project. Okay, we're going with an empty project. And now I want to go back here and look at settings. I'll go to settings here. I want to look at active. This is what you got to do. Make sure that all this stuff is activated and there's no problems. Because this will cause problems later on if you're not using the stuff that's activated. So I always check here to make sure my stuff's activated. I can always deactivate from here. 
but I'm not going to do that because I prefer to keep it the way it is. I can refresh it also as well. If you've got a problem and you see one of your apps has not been in, you just go back here, you refresh it, it will refresh automatically right here in the software.